Chapter 201, Drawing Thunder to Temper the Body Rumble Lin Dong stood on the summit of a mountain with a somewhat stiff expression as he stared at the frantically flickering lightning that snaked through the skies. Under the skies that were densely covered with lightning clouds, his figure was as negligible as an ant. Lightning streaked across the horizon, some of it landing in the vast forest, turning the tall trees to coal in an instant. Threads of black smoke rose up to the clouds, a sight that caused Lin Dong's heart to beat rapidly. Oh, not bad. Just right for cultivating the great sun thunder body. Little Martin floated by Lin Dong's side as it gazed at the black lightning clouds in the sky and heartlessly said. In response, the corners of Lin Dong's eyes could do nothing but twitch. He turned around to look at Little Flame, who had hidden itself a far distance away, and could not help but silently curse useless thing. All right, time to start kid, little Martin took no notice of Lin Dong incessant complaints, as it waved its claws before withdrawing and creating a certain distance between it and Lin Dong. From the looks of it, it was also afraid of being struck by lightning. Upon seeing these two cowards competing to see who could flee the furthest, Lin Dong could only grit his teeth and say, if I get struck to death by lightning, my ghost will not let you off. Don't worry you won't be struck to death, at most you will be heavily injured. Little Martin kindly consoled. Lin Dong rolled his eyes and finally gave up all thoughts of resistance. Accepting his fate, he sat on the edge of the mountaintop and looked down upon the vast forests below. He deeply exhaled as his expression slowly turned solemn. Although drawing lightning into the body was favorable for cultivating the great sun thunder body, it was also a huge risk. Lightning was after all overly violent. If one was not careful, one would not have a pleasant fate. With regards to the so-called danger and suffering, though Lin Dong constantly argued with Little Martin, when the time really came, he did not intend to retreat at all. His cultivation over the years has already polished his willpower to the extreme. Seated on the ground, Lin Dong grasped onto the ancient heavenly scales halberd which appeared in his hand. He lifted his head and fixed his eyes on the flickering silver snakes in the sky. A long time later, his arm suddenly shook as a UN power light beam suddenly shot out from the tip of the halberd, passing by numerous lightning snakes in the sky before hitting one of the thinnest lightning snakes. Lin Dong very clearly understood that rice needed to be eaten one mouthful at a time. Thus he did not choose the lightning that was even thicker than his thigh, but instead first found a smaller one. However, even if it was such a tiny lightning snake, its might was obviously not to be looked down upon. Boom! As the UN power light beam hit that lightning snake, an explosion immediately sounded out in the skies. Like a gigantic snake which had been roused, the lightning almost instantaneously revealed its sinister fangs. It flickered as it curled around the UN power beam, transforming into dazzling light which swiftly rushed towards Lin Dong, who was seated on the mountaintop. As he gazed at the lightning bolt that was rapidly growing in his eyes, Lin Dong inhaled deeply as Golden Yuan power hastily enshrouded his body. The lightning was exceptionally quick as it swept forth. With a loud bang, it ruthlessly bombarded Lin Dong's body. Boom! A bright and eye-dazzling thunderbolt exploded forth at the mountain top. Just as that lightning bolt reached his body, Lin Dong's body began to tremble violently. It was as if his whole body has been violently pounded by a 10,000-pound hammer, and every bones and muscle in his body began to release an squeaking sound due to that overwhelming force. Squeak squeak! That thunderbolt was just like thousands of microscopic lightning sparks, as they surrounding around Lin Dong's body and directly melted into the golden UN power undulated on his body. Then, they entered into his body through every pore on his skin. As that electricity flowed into his body, a violent pain suddenly erupted in his body. Every cell in his body, seemed to have shrink due to that violent stimulation. Ah! A vigorous pain spread through every crevice of his body, until eventually a deep and pained growl was released from Lin Dong's throat, as he heavily slammed his fists on the ground ahead of him, causing cracks to emerge on that solid mountain boulder. Hurry up and activate Great Sun Thunder Body! Just as Lin Dong's body was seemingly about to ignite, Little Martin's voice swiftly sounded out beside his ears. 
When he heard little Martin's voice, Lin Dong quickly recovered his senses. As he forcefully endured that extremely painful burning sensation inside his body, he began to activate Great Sun Thunder Body. As he activated Great Sun Thunder Body, a golden glow began to slowly spread out across his body, before it managed to counter against that violent lightning bolt that was invading his body. Gold and silver color was now intersecting inside Lin Dong's body. As gold and silver mixed together, it seemed extremely beautiful. Even though activating Great Sun Thunder Body was definitely helpful, right now Lin Dong's entire body was completely numb. In fact, he could even hear the cells inside his body begin to cry. The power of the lightning bolt was too violent and it was extremely harmful towards his body. Without taking special measures, it would be suicide to draw a lightning bolt to temper one's body. Thankfully, Lin Dong was not planning to commit suicide. Rather, since he possessed Great Sun Thunder Body, with regards to the violent power of a lightning bolt, he still had some means of resistance. Buzz Buzz On top of the mountain, the lightning bolt turned into a hedgehog-like glow and wrapped around Lin Dong's body. In a near 30-meter radius, a lightning snake crawled across the ground, as microscopic explosive sounds continuously echoed forth. Even some debris rocks were directly blown into dust. When they saw this sight, standing far away, Little Martin and Little Flame quickly retreated even further. As demonic beasts, they were always somewhat fearful of the power of nature. As that lightning sparks flashed, within the lightning bolt, a golden glow could be faintly seen. Even though it was faint, it was becoming stronger at a gradual rate. As that golden glow became stronger, that forceful lighting spark actually began to gradually fuse with that golden glow. It's taking effect. When the first lightning spark fused with Great Sun Giant Body, Lin Dong's spirits were suddenly lifted, as he hurriedly tried to absorb this first trace of Yuan power into his body. Chi Chi When that first trace of Yuan power surfaced in his body, the cells and flesh inside his body, which had now shriveled up after being excited by that violent thunderbolt, was once again revived as they greedily consumed that trace of Yuan power fused with lightning. When this trace of combination UN power was absorbed by the cells, flesh, and organs inside his body, Lin Dong instantly felt that the numbness in his body began to gradually dissipate. As he sensed these changes, a delight surfaced in Lin Dong's heart. Then, he hurriedly activated Great Sun Thunder Body and begun to fuse his UN power with all the lightning sparks violently coursing through his body. As more and more of the lightning bolt's energy was being absorbed by Great Sun Giant Body, that sharp pain began to swiftly dissipate. It seems like Lin Dong's body had begun to gradually adapt. My body is becoming stronger. Streams of Great Sun Thunder Yuan which had been fused with lightning sparks was now being greedily devoured by Lin Dong's body. Thanks to that, Lin Dong could sense that both his inner and outer body was gradually being strengthened. This sensation was extremely clear and vivid. In fact, he could faintly feel that the amount of energy coursing through this flesh and bones was slowly growing. Use this Great Sun Thunder Yun infused with lightning to unlock your inner channels. Just as these Yuan power were coursing through his body, with a flick of his mind, Lin Dong directed these Yuan power towards a heavily blocked inner channel. Thanks to this powerful Yuan power, that heavily blocked inner channel was actually slowly being unblocked. Furthermore, its pace was several times faster than before. At this rate, in less than two hours, he would have successfully unlocked this inner channel. As he thought of this fact, an excited expression fleeted across Lin Dong's face. Promptly, he collected himself and focused all his attention on fusing his UN power with lightning sparks in order to temper his body and unlock his inner channels. On top of the mountain top, that lighting glow, which was just like a hedgehog, was slowly weakening. Meanwhile, the golden glow on Lin Dong's body was intensifying. In fact, on his skin, some grayish residue was being forced out. When these grayish residues dropped out and exposed the skin below. At that spot, it was now a light green color which seemed just like bronze. This lightning glow sustained for nearly an hour before it completely dissipated. When that lightning glow disappeared, Lin Dong suddenly opened both of his eyes, 
as a lightning-like glow sparkled in his eyes. He was extremely excited, evidently, he had tasted the benefits of drawing lightning to temper one's body. Lin Dong lowered his head as he touched his skin. He could sense that surging strength inside his body. This indicated that his body was gradually becoming tougher. Give me another lightning bolt and I can unlock one more inner channel. Lin Dong's lifted his head up and stared directly at the lightning bolts in the sky. This time, he no longer hesitated. As he jerked the ancient halberd in his hand, a UN power light beam directly exploded forth and once again connected with an even thicker lightning bolt. Boom! In the sky, a thunderous roar exploded forth. The lightning bolt was just like an enraged python as it viciously dashed down. Then, with a extremely menacing aura, it heavily slammed with a figure seated on top of the mountain top. The instance that lightning glow exploded forth, it lit up this forest. Meanwhile, that formidable lightning aura caused several demonic beasts to tremble. Faintly, one could hear a young man's hearty laughter spreading out together with that thunderous roar. Chapter 202, Swallowing the Thunderbolt The sky was filled with storm clouds as thunderous roars seemed to shroud the entire forest. Amidst these thunderous roars, numerous demonic beasts were shaking in fear, as they did not dare to make a single sound. Just as every beast in the world was silenced by the might of thunder, on top of a mountain peak, a light beam exploded forth from time to time and drew the thunderbolt down before an exceeding bright glow exploded forth. That glowing figure, that was shimmering amidst the lightning storm, was naturally Lin Dong. In total, he had sat under these storm clouds for nearly ten hours. During this period of time, he had absorbed the strength of eight lightning bolts. Furthermore, Using the strength of these eight lightning bolts, he had continuously enhanced his body and even managed to unlock four inner channels. Overall, out of the 44 inner channels needed to master Great Sun Thunder Body, he had already unlocked 24 of them. Unblocking four inner channels in 10 hours' time, this pace was quite considerable. After all, under normal circumstances, even with help from pure UN pills, it would require several days' time before he could accomplish such a feat. The power of thunderbolts is indeed extraordinary. Huff! On top of the mountain peak, Lin Dong deeply exhaled a puff of white smoke. Amidst that white smoke, one could faintly detect some lightning sparks, it was truly an amazing sight. Opening his eyes, Lin Dong looked at the storm clouds in the sky. Right now, they have begun to exhibit signs of thinning out and these dark clouds seemed like they were about to dissipate. When he saw this situation, he involuntarily pursed his lips. After he discovered the benefits of drawing lightning bolts, he realized that he quite enjoyed the sensation. Lin Dong's palm stroked his arm. The skin there was now light green in color and it seemed like bronze. This was because his body had been gradually enhanced. Once his skin color turned bronze, it would indicate that he had mastered bronze thunder body. Of course, his skin's color will only turn bronze during a battle after he activated bronze thunder body. Else, his appearance will be simply too weird. After all, Lin Dong did not want to be seen as a green monster. Lin Dong extended out his palm, as a golden great body thunder UN ball floated in his palm. Hidden within that golden ball, one could detect some lightning sparks shimmering inside. That was because the lighting energy inside his body had not yet fully fused with his UN power. Buzz! Lin Dong sensed the remnants of lightning energy coursing through his body, just as he was about to activate Great Day Thunder Body to fuse the remaining energy, suddenly the destiny soul symbols inside his Nuan Palace began to emit a weird buzzing sound. This sudden change caused Lin Dong to be slightly taken aback. Before he had time to recover his senses, the three destiny soul symbols inside his Nuan palace began to distort, before they turned into three soul symbol swirls while a suction force emerged from within. Due to this suction force, to Lin Dong's bewilderment, the remaining lightning energy inside his body dashed across his body, before they flew into his Nuan palace and was completely absorbed by those three soul symbol swirls. When the remaining lightning energy was absorbed by these soul symbol swirls, Lin Dong could clearly feel a trace of electricity swirling around his destiny soul symbols. Furthermore, when these electrical sparks appeared, 
Lin Dong realized that his mental energy had stealthily became more solidified. That transformation was just as if his mental energy had been cleansed by that lightning energy. This When he witnessed this sight, Lin Dong was slightly distraught as this was the first time that he heard that mental energy could actually absorb the power from lightning. After all, the great sun thunder Yuan in his body could only fuse with that electrical power. However, right now, his destiny soul symbols directly consumed that electrical power. The difference between these two was not a trivial one. Lin Dong was stunned for a while before he finally recovered his sense. With a glint in his eyes, a stream of mental energy shot forth from his eyes. Right now, that originally formless mental energy had a trace of electric spark faintly hidden within. As it howled forth, its destructive potential was much stronger than before. Evidently, after his destiny soul symbols absorbed the electrical power, it had enhanced his mental energy. Is this due to the destiny soul symbols? Lin Dong's eyes sparkled. He knew that the reason was likely due to the destiny soul symbols inside his Nguyen Palace. These things have always been exceedingly magical and not only could they absorb others' mental energy for his own use, but now, they could even absorb the power from lightning. Such a formidable destiny symbol. When he realized this situation, a tinge of delight surged inside Lin Dong's heart. The magical abilities of his soul symbols are truly too formidable. Furthermore, according to Little Martin, these soul symbols were merely imitations of ancestral symbols. Therefore, one can only imagine just how powerful these real ancestral symbols would be. In that case, I could make use of this to temper my mental energy, Lin Dong lifted his head as he stared at the rapidly dissipating clouds. Suddenly, he laughed as he pointed his fingers towards the sky and released a UN power light beam. This time, he directly chose a lightning bolt that was as thick as his thigh. Boom! As it faced Lin Dong's provocation, that lightning bolt released an enraged roar, before it turned into a lightning beam and dashed down. Lin Dong lifted his head. Staring at that incoming lightning beam, he gently smiled. With a flick of his mind, the three destiny soul symbols inside his Nguyen Palace emerged, before they turned into three soul symbol swirls above his head. This fellow, what is he trying to do, standing far away, when little Martin saw this sight, he was instantly shocked. Boom! That lightning beam viciously slammed against his three palm-sized soul symbol swirls. However, the destruction of these symbols did not materialize. Rather, as these three soul symbol swirls started swirling viciously, a formidable suction force emerged and continuously consumed that violent electrical power. As he saw that lightning beam that was swiftly dissipating, a thick look of awe flashed across little Martin's eyes. Moments later, he muttered to himself, this fellow is truly daring. He actually dares to consume the power of lightning. Nonetheless, it must be said that his destiny soul symbols are truly formidable. Just a mere imitation, yet they actually possess the suction powers of ancestral symbol. Perhaps due to that reason, he might actually be able to obtain that legendary ancestral symbol. Buzz buzz. After that lighting beam was completely consumed by these three soul symbol swirls, these swirls gradually became more resplendent as lightning sparks continuously shimmered within. Hwa hwa. When that lightning beam completely dissipated, within his three soul symbol swirls, a water gushing sound echoed out. Due to this noise, Lin Dong felt his mind gradually becoming sharper. Meanwhile, the mental energy inside his soul symbols was also growing stronger and turning more solidified at an astounding rate. Huff! The lightning glow sparkled for nearly ten minutes before it gradually dissipated. Then, the three soul symbol swirls, with traces of electrical power, dashed back inside Lin Dong's Nguyen Palace before they turned silent again. After consuming that lightning bolt, Lin Dong could feel that his mental energy was at least two times stronger than before. At this rate, it was only a matter of time before he advanced to fourth seal symbol master. Furthermore, this rapid progress did not come at the expense of his health. That was because this lightning power possessed the ability to temper one's body, hence he had not have to worry about any side effects. Such a wonderful object! Lin Dong's eyes sparkled. In his eyes, 
This lightning bolt that most people would die to avoid, was a perfect nourishment. Not only could it temper his body, unlock his inner channels, it could even boost his mental energy. It's such a pity that the storm clouds have begun to dissipate, Lin Dong lifted his head as he stared at the storm clouds, that were scattering off just like a tidal wave, with a tinge of regret. If he could continue his training, then his progress would be quite substantial. Of course, this regretful state only lasted for a while. After all, Lin Dong was prepared to traverse through the mountainous range and therefore he would naturally encounter much stormy weather. In the future, he would definitely make good use of such opportunities. After all, this was a shortcut to boost his cultivation rate and Lin Dong would naturally never give up on such an opportunity. Huff! After he gently exhaled, Lin Dong stood up and kept his ancient halberd. Then, turning to look at Little Flame and Little Martin, who were standing afar, he instantly grumbled out, What are you looking at, let's go. Growl. When it heard Lin Dong's voice, Little Flame instantly growled before it leapt over. Using its head to fawn on Lin Dong, it seemingly ignored the fact that there were still demonic beast remnants sticking on its head. Kid, are you alright? Little Martin floated forth, before he landed on his shoulders and asked with a twinkly smile. Lin Dong rolled his eyes. Staring at the disappearing storm clouds, a smile surfaced on his lips before he said, it was a pleasant sensation. In the future, I shall train like this. Little Martin was stunned as he was somewhat taken aback. Evidently, he never expected that Lin Dong had actually become addicted to this sensation. Instantly, he shook his head as he muttered, what a sicko. With regards to his muttering, Lin Dong could not be bothered with it. The power of lightning was extremely important to him. Even though it was painful at first, the pain he experienced was nothing compared to the benefits that he gained. Let's go. For the remaining journey, I will try to unlock all my inner channels as soon as possible. After all, without sufficient strength, I cannot hope to obtain that so-called ancestral symbol. Lin Dong smiled as he stretched his back. Then, leaping onto Little Flame's back, his lips released a soft whistle. Instantly, the latter roared and turned into a fiery red shadow and dashed forth. That fellow is truly addicted to training. Ha, <laughs> however his tenacity is pretty remarkable. At this rate, it would be possible for him to catch up with Lin Lang Tian. As he stared at Lin Dong's back, small Martin smiled. With his claws behind his back, he gently floated behind him. Chapter 203 Little Flame in Danger The Great Yan Empire was large and spacious. At least from Lin Dong's point of view, its land area could be considered humongous. That was because even after traveling for two months through the vast forests, he had yet to see or reach its end. On a giant tree inside the forest, a figure was standing perfectly straight as he stared at lush woodlands that extended before him. At this moment, his mental state seemed extremely calm. This figure seemed slightly hideous. His hair was touching his shoulders while his clothes were in tatters. Even though his appearance was slightly hideous, he gave off a formidable aura just like a powerful weapon. Within his calm eyes, a faint glow shimmered. It seemed like there was a ferocious tiger hidden within him that was ready to bear its fangs at any time. This figure was naturally Lin Dong. Over these two months, he had lived a primitive lifestyle, and would battle against demonic beasts every day. Even though this journey had been exceedingly tiring and dangerous, it proved extremely beneficial for Lin Dong. After all, the battle experience that he accumulated from all these battles was not something that he could gain from closed-door training. One would never become genuinely strong solely by sitting down and cultivating for tens or over a hundred years. A soft breeze blew by as it rattled some of Lin Dong's tattered clothes. Right now, the skin below his clothes seemed somewhat dark green. However, this dark green glow was not a permanent fixture, it only faintly appeared before disappearing again. Ever since he experienced the tremendous benefits from drawing lightning bolts, Lin Dong had become addicted to it. Therefore, in the following days, whenever storm clouds appeared, he would immediately leap onto a mountain peak and draw lightning bolts in order to temper his body and mental energy. Thanks to this training that most ordinary people would consider insane, 
Lin Dong's progress was quite substantial. Out of the 44 channels of Great Sun Thunder Body, he had unlocked 43 of them. Only the last channel continued to hold out. After unblocking so many channels, the Yuan power inside Lin Dong's body had almost completely transformed into Great Sun Thunder Yuan. Hence, his battle power had grown by at least two or three folds since the day he departed from Yan City. Right now, if he fought against City Lord Shi, he had every confidence that he would not struggle like before. Furthermore, his body had become increasingly stronger thanks to these lightning bolts. Even though he had yet to master the Bronze Thunder body, Lin Dong had every confidence that with just his body alone, even without using any UN power, he could match up against a perfect UN Dan stage practitioner. While his body and UN power became stronger, Lin Dong's mental energy was also being cleansed by the lightning power. Currently, inside his Nguyen Palace, cracks had once again begun to surface on the destiny soul symbol in the center. This indicated that the fourth seal was about to appear. Once this fourth seal appeared, Lin Dong would have advanced to the fourth seal symbol master. At that time, even an initial form creation stage practitioner would not pose any threat to him. In fact, he would even be able to match up against an advanced form creation stage practitioner. Huff. On top of that giant tree, Lin Dong suddenly exhaled a puff of white smoke, as he carefully monitored the multitude of changes inside his body. Moments later, his eyebrows furrowed as he muttered to himself, this final channel, is so difficult to unlock. The Great Sun Thunder body only had 43 inner channels. However, after the stone talisman refined it, an additional one was created. Nonetheless, it was extremely difficult to unlock this final inner channel. Even though Lin Dong had absorbed 10 lightning bolts, he was still unable to unlock it. Hence, from this fact alone, one could deduce just how insurmountable this task was. Furthermore, if he did not manage to unlock this final inner channel, Lin Dong would not be able to fully activate the Great Sun Thunder Body which would in turn also disrupt his cultivation of the Bronze Thunder Body. This final channel is indeed exceedingly difficult to unlock. Furthermore, the Destiny Soul Symbol in your Nguyen Palace has also reached a critical juncture. Once you make this final step, your strength will surge. Little Martin hovered behind Lin Dong, before it spoke. Lin Dong helpless shook his head. It seemed like he could only wait patiently for that moment to arrive. Right now, we should be within Daeng province and this is already quite a distance from Tiandu province. Based on our current speed, we should arrive at the great desolate province in approximately three months. Lin Dong removed a map from his Kyunkin bag, and looked at it for a while, before he spoke. In the remaining time, I must unlock that final channel and master the bronze thunder body. Slightly gripping his fists, Lin Dong had a determined expression in his eyes. The great desolate province was extremely dangerous and chaotic. In fact, even a person like him, who had never traveled before, knew how dangerous and chaotic it was. At that place, if one is not skilled, one would likely suffer. Go, let the training continue. As he kept the map in his hand, a glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Like a giant hawk, he swept into the forest. Waving the ancient halberd in his hand, a tyrannical glow exploded forth, enraging several wild beasts inside the forest, and causing them to roar in response. Meanwhile, a rich UN power vibration began to spread out inside the forest. Bang! Inside the dense forest, a figure and a giant demonic beast viciously collided against each other. Despite the mismatch of their body sizes, a surprising result emerged as the larger demonic beast was directly blown away, drawing a deep scratch mark on the ground. However, before this enraged demonic beast could retaliate, the figure in front of it dashed forth again, as an exceedingly powerful finger attack heavily slammed against its head, and with a plop sound, blood instantly spurted out. After he pierced through the demonic beast's steel-like skull using a finger, a smile surfaced on Lin Dong's face, as he casually wiped off the blood on his finger. The power of this demonic beast outclassed that of a perfect UN Dan stage practitioner. However, Lin Dong was able to finish it off with a single blow. While he was traversing through the vast woods, Lin Dong had encountered all kinds of demonic beasts. 
In fact, some of these demonic beasts' aura was every more terrifying than Lin Longdian's. Thankfully, little Martin would warn him in advance and this helped him to survive. Else, if he encountered any one of them, he would definitely die. Lin Dong sat down on the ground as he removed the demonic crystal from the demonic beast's head. He then closed his eyes as he began to rest and wait for Little Flame, who was scavenging for food, to return. Lin Dong waited for approximately half an hour, before he began to furrow his eyebrows. Little Flame usually would not be away for such a long time. As he furrowed his eyebrows, traces of mental energy swiftly gushed out from Lin Dong's Nguyen Palace, before it began to spread out. Hmm. A short time after his mental energy spread out, Lin Dong's facial expression suddenly changed as he immediately stood up. With a dark expression on his face, he looked towards the west. At that area, he could sense Little Flame's presence. However, he could also sense several human presences as well. This was the first time that Lin Dong had detected so many humans in one place after spending such a long period in the forest. However, this time around, it did not seem like good news. His gaze flashed, as Lin Dong's feet tapped against the ground, and he deftly dashed inside the woods, rushing towards that area where he had sensed their presence. Inside this woodland that was made up of giant trees, there was an empty area filled with dried leaves. Currently, there were several people in that empty space, while a few hurried shouts sounded out. Ha, this fire python tiger has actually grown to such an extent. This is truly a rare sight. Capture it. If we can raise it properly, it would be extremely beneficial. In that empty space, a young man dressed in black clothes was staring fervently at a majestic fiery red fire python tiger that was being surrounded by a group of men. The tail of this ferocious tiger was a blood-red giant python which was hissing at them, as a faint bloody smell spread forth. This was indeed little flame, which had gone to forage for food. Around this young man, were several people. From the looks of it, his status was not low. Moreover, these people were extremely well coordinated, creating a formation which completely protected this young man. When they heard the young man's words, the people surrounding Little Flame instantly responded. As UN power gushed forth, the ropes in their hands were thrown towards Little Flame. Growl. As it faced their attack, Little Flame's eyes turned feverish red. It stepped forward and turned into a fiery red shadow to avoid the ropes. Its claws danced, as some of these unlucky fellows were immediately ripped apart. Young Master, this fire python tiger is indeed unique. Even a perfect UN Dan stage practitioner cannot handle it easily. This is truly peculiar, how can a fire python tiger be so strong, beside the young man dressed in black clothes, a middle-aged man furrowed his eyebrows, staring at the ferocious little flame as he said. Ha, if it was not for that fact, why would this young master be interested in this beast? Uncle CAO, lead two perfect UN Dan stage practitioners and capture this wild beast. Do it quickly, else we ruin father's affairs. The young man dressed in black clothes casually laughed as he said. Yes. Upon hearing these words, the middle-aged man instantly responded. Promptly, he waved his hand as two other men beside him walked forth. Their aura was especially formidable. Evidently, they had both advanced to the perfect UN Dan stage. Do it. Evidently, the three of them often worked together, and hence, they had good chemistry between them. As their bodies moved, they formed a triangle formation and directly trapped Little Flame inside. Growl. When Little Flame saw that its scope of movement had been limited, it instantly roared in rage. A claw attack powerful enough to break a rock boulder was viciously directed towards the trio. Ignorant beast, how dare you resist? When they saw Little Flame resisting, the three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners snorted simultaneously. The trio instantly made their move, as their UN power seemingly merged together and forcefully trapped Little Flame. Then, three large hands viciously jabbed at Little Flame's body. Bang! As UN power gushed forth, Little Flame was directly blown back. However, it did not suffer much injuries. Nonetheless, it was so enraged that its eyes turned blood red. 
This beast has such strong defenses. It is indeed very interesting. When that young man in black saw that the combined attack by three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners did not cause much damage to Little Flame, he was immediately delighted as he exclaimed. Binding Finger The three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners looked at each other, before they simultaneously took a step forward. Straightening two of their fingers, a UN power light beam suddenly shot forth just like a rope, turning into a complex noose in mid-air before it fell and solidly bounded Little Flame. Growl. When its body was tied up, Little Flame started to resist manically. However, it was forcefully held down by the three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners. Stupid beast, let's see how you resist. When they saw Little Flame being tied up, the three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners chuckled. Nearby, the young man dressed in black clothes also smiled in delight. Swoosh. However, just as the rest of them prepared to tie up Little Flame, an exceedingly powerful force suddenly exploded forth from the forest, and shattered the UN power bindings. Who? This sudden development caused the faces of the three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners to change, as they sternly shouted out. TCH. However, their shouts did not manage to draw any verbal response, rather, an exceptionally powerful halberd shadow was their reply. Chapter 204, Dian Province's De Family You're courting death. When the formidable halberd shadow swept forth, the three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners were momentarily stunned, but soon after, their expressions darkened. With a furious shout, the three of them struck together, as vigorous UN power gushed forth and ferociously smashed against the halberd attack. Bang! At the moment of contact, the three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners' expressions swiftly changed. This time, they clearly felt the terrifying energy within the halberd. This power had already long surpassed the perfect UN Dan stage. A strong gale erupted from the epicenter, directly blowing away the dry leaves on the ground, as the sorry figures of three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners flew backwards. When they landed, they nearly bounced up again in the air. Upon seeing the three Prefect UN Dan stage practitioners defeated after by the first attack, the surrounding crowd immediately cried out. Who? The youth in black's expression turned a little cold, as he frostily stared at the forest and shouted in a low voice. Swish! As the youth in black's shout echoed out, a wind sound was heard. Soon after, a strong and healthy figure flew out of the forest and landed beside Little Flame, while coldly staring at the former. When they saw the person who had appeared, the youth in black and the three Prefect UN Dan stage practitioners were stunned. Evidently, they did not expect that the former would be so young. Fortunately, they were somewhat able to judge that although the person before them looked young, his aura was rather formidable. Evidently, he was a talented and capable individual. May I ask that everyone not to attack my companion indiscriminately, isn't this a little impolite? The one who had swiftly rushed over and shown himself was naturally Lin Dong. He stretched out a hand and completely removed the UN power bindings on Little Flame, as a little anger flashed across his eyes, while he spoke out in an indifferent tone. Upon hearing this, the youth in black slightly narrowed his eyes. Soon after, he chuckled as he said, Friend, I am quite interested in this fire python tiger of yours. Since you're its owner, sell it to me. I will give you a most satisfying price. Although his words hinted at a discussion, his tone indicated that he was not going to give Lin Dong much choice. Lin Dong's voice remained calm as he glanced at the youth, not selling. After seeing how blunt Lin Dong was, the youth in black was taken aback, as his expression slightly darkened. Kid. Don't be unappreciative of his kindness. Our young master is part of Daeang Province's De family. When Lin Dong's words sounded out, the three perfect UN Dan stage practitioners sternly shouted in reply. Daeang Province, the De family. Lin Dong's eyebrows slightly raised. He had naturally never heard of this family, and even if he did, what about it? He had dared to rob even Wang Yan from the Wang clan. What kind of trash did this Lee family think it was? Let's go. 
lightly patting the still aggressive little flame, Lin Dong could not be bothered with this group, and turned to leave. Stubborn fool! Upon seeing that Lin Dong intended to leave, the three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners' expressions darkened. Their gazes turned towards the youth in black, and after seeing the latter coldly nod his head, vigorous Yuan power suddenly erupted from the trio's bodies. Though they had suffered a little earlier, they believed that it was only because they had been caught off guard. They did not believe that such a young kid would be a match for the three of them. Bang! Three figures lifted off the ground. Like vultures swooping down towards their prey, they attacked Lin Dong, while Yuan Power gushed about their extremely formidable claw attacks. Wind Tearing Claw An ear-piercing buzzing wind sound echoed out, as the trio's claw attacks blocked off Lin Dong's path of retreat. The trio's combined might was enough to force the perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner to his death. When he sensed the formidable approaching attacks, Lin Dong's footsteps paused, as his expression slowly turned ice cold. He extended a hand and gently patted Little Flame, just as it intended to leap forward and attack, before turning around and lifting his head. Cold eyes glared at the three incoming perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. Kid, don't blame us since you've rejected our kindness. When they were practically on top of Lin Dong, the trio sneered, as the force on their hands grew increasingly powerful. Bang! However, the sneers on their faces did not last for long. Bright golden light suddenly exploded before their eyes, as they saw a fist covered in golden light ruthlessly smashing towards them in an extremely unreasonable way. There was nothing special about this fist, only a power within it that was unreasonable to the max. In the face of this kind of power, the trio's combined attack crumbled in a flash, as the fist danced through the air before heavily slamming into their claw-like hands. Crack. All of a sudden, a faint bone-breaking sound rang out. Soon after, the crowd watched as the originally ferociously attacking trio once again flew backwards. Along the way, they continuously vomited several mouthfuls of blood before their sorry figures smashed into a huge towering tree. As they watched the three flying figures, the area turned much quieter, such that even the youth in black's smile turned stiff for a moment. Evidently, he did not expect that Lin Dong was actually able to so effortlessly crush the combined efforts of three perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. The youth in black's eyes slightly narrowed as he gazed at Lin Dong, whose body had yet to move from the spot. A chill faintly emerged in the youth's expression, Hehe, I did not think that we would meet such a problematic person here. However, now that you've beaten my Di family members, you are in quite a lot of trouble. While the youth in black spoke, the surrounding crowd stared at Lin Dong with ill intent, as they surrounded him. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong's expression darkened. He glared at the youth in black and slowly said, I can't be bothered to bicker with you over the fact that you've hurt my companion, but if you continue to be so foolish, no matter what kind of trashy de family you're from, I will beat you all. You've got guts. Upon hearing these words, the corners of the youth in black's eyes twitched, as his expression also turned ice cold. Soon after, he gently lifted his hand. TCH After seeing that this guy was still not willing to give up, Lin Dong completely lost his patience. His hand grasped onto the ancient heavenly scales halberd, as resplendent golden UN power gushed forth. Soon after, his figure transformed into a golden light and swept forward the ancient halberd in his hand pointing directly at the black-clothed youth's throat. Stop him! When they saw that Lin Dong actually dared to make his move in front of all of them, the black-clothed youth's entourage sternly shouted out. Immediately, a dozen men charged forward, however, before they could touch Lin Dong, a halberd shadow swept out and ruthlessly slammed into their bodies, directly blowing them away as they vomited blood. Humph! Upon seeing Lin Dong easily tear apart the thick defensive lines and charge towards him, the youth in black's expression turned ugly. A long green spear appeared in his hand, emitting a green glow and an aura that was in no way weak. Evidently, it was also a rather high-grade soul treasure. This black-clothed youth was about 25 or 26 years old, and his strength was not weak. He had also reached the perfect Yuan Dan stage and the faction behind him was evidently no small fry. 
without the support of a huge amount of resources, it would be extremely difficult to reach this cultivation stage at such an age. With this kind of strength and the soul treasure in his hands, the black-clothed youth was clearly rather conceited. Given his strength, there were very few among the younger generation who could defeat him in Daeng province. Hence, he naturally would not withdraw when faced with Lin Dong who looked even younger than himself. Green Light Kill The youth in black's arm trembled as green light burst out from the spear in his hand, covering the entire forest in a green glow, as countless cold shadows ruthlessly shot towards Lin Dong's vital points. Ding 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 ding! In response to the youth in black's attack, Lin Dong merely sneered. With a thought, the skin all over his body turned bronze, and when the cold shadows hit his body, waves of sparks erupted but did not come close to breaking Lin Dong's defenses at all. Upon seeing this, the youth in black's expression finally started changing. However, without waiting for him to retreat, Lin Dong abruptly moved forward and grabbed the green spear, while his other palm swiftly engraved itself onto the former's chest. Bang! A ferocious wind erupted as the youth in black was directly blown away by this attack, while the green spear in his hand was snatched away by Lin Dong. The youth in black's sorry figure landed on the ground, his face colored with shades of green and red, but he did not seem injured at all. When Lin Dong saw this, he was not too surprised. When his attack landed on his opponent just moments ago, he had already realized that the latter seemed to be wearing an inner armor with extremely strong defensive capabilities. It might even be a soul treasure with defensive properties. I'll take this as repayment. Lin Dong held the ancient halberd in one hand, and the green spear in the other, as he cast a glance at the youth in black and casually remarked. You dare! The youth in black's face was green as he fiercely retorted. Lin Dong paid no attention to the youth as he turned and he took giant strides towards the forest. When the surrounding entourage saw this, they did not dare to obstruct him. The strength that Lin Dong had displayed made them understand that no one here was his match. Just as Lin Dong was about to enter the forest, an indifferent laughter suddenly sounded out from the skies, Ha ha ha, little brother, my son was indeed wrong. However, this little brother has already taught him a lesson. I do hope that you can leave the green Yuan spear behind. The sudden arrival of this voice caused Lin Dong to pause in his step. His expression was calm as he turned around to look at the figure which descended from the skies. He was not surprised as he had already sensed this person's existence when he attacked earlier. The figure which descended from the skies was clothed in green. He was not young, and one could see a few strands of white hair on his head, while his eyes were bright and full of expression giving him a slightly dignified appearance. Evidently, he was someone of high status and was currently smiling as he gazed at Lin Dong with deep eyes which seemed to conceal a little profoundness. Initial Form Creation Stage Lin Dong cast a glance at this person, and was not afraid at all. With his current strength, he was already able to contend against a practitioner at this level. Hence, he thrust the green spear into the ground, as his indifferent voice sounded out, causing rage to surface on the black cloth youth's and the rest's faces. It is possible for you to take it back. Use pure UN pills in exchange for it. Chapter 205, De Tang Kid, you have a death wish. When he saw that Lin Dong remained so obstinate even at this juncture, the face of that young man dressed in black clothes turned steely gritted, as he gritted his teeth and said, Haha, this young brother, if you lack pure UN pills, my Di family can provide you with some. After all, it's our practice to establish good ties everywhere. That middle-aged man dressed in green robes was evidently stunned by Lin Dong's direct manner. Nonetheless, he was a pretty sharp fellow as he replied with a smile and did not lose his composure. 20,000 pure UN pills. I believe this to be a fairly reasonable price. Lin Dong gently smiled as he said. When he heard this amount, the facial expression of that young man dressed in black clothes turned uglier. In fact, even the smile on that middle-aged man's face dimmed. This was obviously a extortion as 20,000 pure UN pills was no trivial amount. Instantly, the atmosphere stealthily turned increasingly tense. 
as if he did not detect the stealthy change in the atmosphere, a smile was still plastered on Lin Dong's face. However, inside his body, he had begun to slowly activate Great Sun Thunder Yuan. Faintly, an extremely microscopic thunder sound spread forth together with a unique shockwave. This unique shockwave could not be detected by most ordinary individuals. However, that middle-aged man seemed to have detected it. Instantly, a solemn expression fleeted across his eyes. Father, this kid is simply too much. That young man dressed in black clothes gritted his teeth as he said, We have so many people around, as long as we summon them over, he will not be able to escape. When he heard those words, that middle-aged man's eyes sparkled for a moment as he stared right at Lin Dong, who was smiling back at him. Moments later, he gradually shook his head. He was a cautious man by nature and he could detect a dangerous scent coming from the latter's body. Furthermore, considering the unique circumstances today, it was best for him to avoid making an additional enemy. Haha, <laughs> 20,000 pure UN pills? All right, I will treat it as making a friend. As magnanimous smile emerged on that middle-aged man's face, as he stared at Lin Dong and said with a smile. Father. When he saw that the middle-aged man had actually choose to compromise, the facial expression of that young man dressed in black instantly changed, as he hurriedly shouted out. However, before he could speak, he was instantly stopped by a stern look from the former. Instantly, he could only suppress the rage inside his heart. Lin Dong was similarly shocked by the fact that he chose to compromise. At first, he thought that the latter would fail to withstand his provocations and choose to attack him. However, as things stand, it saved him a little trouble. After all, for a broke fellow like him, 20,000 pure UN pills was a substantial fortune. That middle-aged man dressed in green robes was a decisive man. After he spoke, he took out a kinkin bag from his sleeves, before he passed it to Lin Dong with a smile, little brother, here are 20,000 pure UN pills. As he stared at that kinkin bag, a glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes before he unceremoniously reached out and grabbed that kinkin bag. However, just as his palm reached out, a exceptionally powerful force suddenly emerged from Di Teng's hands. With regards to this incoming force, Lin Dong's face remained calm. A bronze-like green tinge suddenly appeared on his hand. At the same time, below his skin, a golden glow gushed forth. Then, as his palm jutted forth, he directly countered against that invasive force. Boom! A extremely microscopic sound echoed out from the kinkin bag, as Di Teng's huge hands began to stealthily tremble. His facial expression also begun to change. However, promptly, with a smile, he loosed his grip and asked with a smile, May I know this little brother's name? We seem to have never heard of such an outstanding young man in Daeang province. Just an unknown figure quietly training in the woods. Lin Dong gently smiled as he unceremoniously snatched that kinkin bag. Then, he tossed the Qing Yuan spear in his hands back to Di Teng, as the latter quickly received it. Di Teng grabbed onto the Qing Yuan spear. However, his eyes remained peeled on Lin Dong's body. After that brief stealthy exchange, he could deduce just how exceedingly powerful this young man was. This caused him to be extremely shocked. At such a tender age, yet he was already this skilled. There was probably no one in this entire Daeang province that could match up to this genius. Since there are no further matters, I shall take my leave. Lin Dong could sense that the current surrounding atmosphere was slightly odd. In the surrounding area, there were several hidden presents around and most of them are probably members of the Di family. However, as for why there were so many people inside these deep mountains, Lin Dong understood that now was not the right time to find out. Hence, he cupped his fist at Di Teng, before he turned to leave. When he saw Lin Dong leave suavely, a glint flashed across Di Teng's eyes. However, in the end, he did not make a move. Instead, he allowed Lin Dong and Little Flame to depart, as they finally vanished inside the dense forest. Father, how can we just let him go so easily? He has hurt so many of our men. After he saw Lin Dong depart, that Di Yun could resist no longer as he asked. Their Di family has never suffered such injustice, 
especially when they were merely dealing with one individual. What more do you expect? He has already shown us mercy. Else, if you not be merely injuries. De Teng casually replied. Father, don't we have you around? Based on your current creation stage abilities, can't you easily handle him? De Yun pursed his lips as he asked. When he heard his words, that De Yun was silent for a moment, before he said, even if I personally attack, we can only defeat him at most. However, we will be unable to kill him. At that time, we would have made an additional foe. Furthermore, in a few days' time, when that Thunder Crystal Beast levels up, we will need all our strength to ambush and kill it. Hence, it would not be wise to offend him now. Is that fellow so strong? Father, you are a creation stage elite practitioner. When he heard that even De Teng could not confidently kill Lin Dong, that De Yun instantly disbelievingly asked. That kid is merely half a step away from reaching creation stage. Furthermore, I can sense that this man is truly too dangerous and he has many hidden aces up his sleeves. If we truly fought, the outcome of our battle would be highly uncertain. Furthermore, the Lu family is also hunting after the Thunder Crystal Beast. If we attack this person now, we would undoubtedly be pushing him towards the Lu family. At that time, we will have even more trouble in our hands. De Teng said. We let that kid off the hook too easily. He took 20,000 of our pure UN pills. De Yun gritted his teeth as he shouted out in rage. Let's take care of the Thunder Crystal Beast first. If we can obtain the Thunder Crystal, I will have the opportunity to advance to creation and transformation stage, or perhaps that legendary Nirvana stage. Once this matter is resolved, we can look for that man again. If he is willing to work for my Di family, that would be good news. However, if he rejects, at that time we will force him to spit all of those pills out. Di Teng casually said. A killing intent could be faintly heard from his tone. It seems like he was also extremely displeased with Lin Dong's actions. When he heard his words, that Di Yun finally nodded his head. Then, his eyes turned to stare at the spot where Lin Dong had disappeared, as a malicious glint flashed in his eyes. Thunder Crystal Beast, what is that thing? Standing on a large tree in the dense forest, Lin Dong recalled traces of his mental energy that he had sent out for scouting purposes. Then, he turned to Little Martin, who was standing on his shoulder, and asked it. Thunder Crystal Beast? Ha, I didn't expect such a beast to exist here. Little Martin's claws rubbed on its fury cheeks, as a shocked expression surfaced in its eyes. This is a peculiar demonic beast. It does not feed on blood and flesh, but rather it feeds on lightning bolts. This demonic beast is extremely formidable. However, each time it levels up, there will be a period where it becomes highly vulnerable. Judging by their conversation previously, it seems like we have ran into such a situation. What uses it? Lin Dong asked. There is a thunder crystal inside the thunder crystal beast that contains an immense amount of pure thunder energy. If you are able to obtain it, not only could you unlock the final inner channel, perhaps you can even master bronze thunder body. In fact, you could even progress to fourth seal symbol master. Most importantly, after you refine that thunder crystal, once you reach creation stage, you can create thunderbolts using your UN power. That ability is truly formidable. When he heard little Martin's string of words, Lin Dong's eyes turned feverish red instantly as his breathing turned increasingly ragged. Recently, he had been extremely troubled by that final inner channel because regardless of how much effort he had put in, that final inner channel simply refuses to yield. However, this so-called thunder crystal could actually unlock it. However, an ordinary thunder crystal beast's strength is similar to a Qi creation stage practitioner. A few stronger ones can even match up to a manifestation stage practitioner. Based on your current strength, it would be quite difficult. When he heard Little Martin's following words, Lin Dong felt like a bucket of ice water was just poured over him. Instantly, he was taken aback. Then, he looked at Little Martin before he said with a smile, Don't worry. Though I can't defeat that thunder crystal beast on my own, don't I have those fellow to assist me? From their conversation previously, 
it seems like there is also a Lu family that plans to attack that Thunder Crystal Beast. In that case, I will let them make the first move, before I swoop in at the end just like a fisherman. As he saw that cunning smile on Lin Dong's face, little Martin rolled his eyes before he said, Kid, even if fail to become a fisherman, don't become a shrimp for them to devour. Lin Dong waved his hands. The fact that he dared to suggest this idea indicated that he had some confidence in his abilities. Right now, he was no longer afraid of facing a initial form creation stage practitioner. Furthermore, with aid from the Soul Puppet and Little Martin, even if he encountered an elite practitioner like Wang Yan, perhaps he would not be able to win, however, he could definitely retreat safely. Let me have a good rest tonight. From tomorrow onwards, I shall follow these guys. Ha, if you plot against me, you must be prepared to lose it all. Lin Dong stretched his back, as he stared at the Di family troops that were located far away. A coldness was hidden within the smile on his face. That thunder crystal, will definitely be mine. Chapter 206, Thunder Crystal Beast Lin Dong stood at the top of a mountain covered by a strange stone forest, as his gaze alternated between two places in a distance. Within these two general directions, were a great number of presences. I did not expect that the Daeang province's factions would be so strong. Although I do not know what kind of status the Di and Lu families possess, the strength possessed by these two factions far surpasses that of Yan City's factions, as Lin Dong gazed towards the two directions, his eyebrows slightly furrowed. The power of either one of these two families far surpassed the so-called Blood Wolf Gang, such that even the Yan City Governor faction was not that much stronger too. Over these two days, Lin Dong had closely tailed the Di family troops. With the aid of his powerful mental energy, he had managed to avoid detection by Di Teng. Along the way, Lin Dong was also shocked to discover just how powerful these two families were. This caused him to gasp in surprise, as this kind of lineup was extremely rare in Yan City. The Lu family also has an initial form creation stage practitioner. Together with several perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners, there is not much of a difference between them and the Di family. If these two parties were to fight with each other, it would definitely become chaotic and that shall be my chance. Lin Dong mumbled to himself. If one of these two families was too domineering, he would not be able to take advantage of them. That so-called Thunder Crystal Beast should be in that mountain, Lin Dong's eyes turned towards the spot in front of both groups. A steep mountain stood there as a faint silver glow bathed the mountaintop. One glance was all Lin Dong took to realize that the silver glow was actually some kind of circulating lightning. Over this period of time, he had absorbed quite a substantial amount of lightning power, and hence he was exceptionally sensitive towards it. Furthermore, from within the mountain, Lin Dong could also sense an aura that was as violent as lightning itself. This aura caused all the hair on his body to stand on its ends. If he was not mistaken, that was the current target of the Di and Lu families, the Thunder Crystal Beast. This Thunder Crystal Beast's strength should be at advanced Qi creation stage. From the looks of it, its aura seems extremely unstable and it should be about to advance one cultivation stage. If it successfully advances, it would be comparable to a manifestation stage practitioner. At that time, practically no one in the Great Yan Empire would be able to match it. Little Martin's gaze swept around as it smiled and said. Fortunately, each time it rank up, there will be a period of time where it becomes vulnerable. That is the best time to make a move. Of course, if that was not the case, the Di and Lu families would definitely not dare to make a move on it. After all, even a Qi creation stage Thunder Crystal Beast is not something to be trifled with. Lin Dong nodded his head and asked, when will that Thunder Crystal Beast rank up? In less than two days' time. Ha, two days, upon hearing this, Lin Dong softly chuckled. Soon after, he sat down beside a boulder and casually retrieved a piece of dry meat from his kinkin bag and tossed it to Little Flame. Since this was so, he would wait. In an area northwest of Lin Dong, a campsite was set up. Quite a number of people shuttled back and forth within it, and from time to time, scouts appeared from the forest and scuttled into the huge tent in the middle. 
There were about a dozen figures in this tent and each of them gave off a formidable aura, especially the man in the center. The man's face was red and he had a white beard. Though his face seemed somewhat aged, a formidable glint shimmered in his eyes and no one dared to stare at him directly. Family Head, the Di family has also brought activated quite a number of troops this time, and even Di Teng has personally come. Looks like the Thunder Crystal Beast is a must-have for them. Within the tent, one of the scouts respectfully reported. Upon hearing this, the white-bearded elderly man nodded his head in an indifferent manner, not surprised at all by this news. His gaze swept across the tent as he said, Relay these instructions, wipe out all the demonic beasts in the vicinity of the Thunder Origin Mountain. If you encounter anyone, no matter who he is, expel him immediately. If he does not obey, kill him. In addition, make sure to have eyes on the Di family at all times. The Thunder Crystal Beast should advance within these two days. At that time, we must immediately take action. The elderly man's words were filled of murderous intent and did not contain the slightest bit of hesitation. Evidently, a vicious and merciless family head. Yes. Upon hearing his instructions, the numerous practitioners in the tent did not dare to be the least bit slow as they orderly replied. Di Teng, Humph. It is will not be so easy for you to snatch the thunder source from my Lu family. After seeing their response, the white-bearded elderly man icily chuckled. While these matters were occurring at the Lu family side, scouts also frequently moved about at the Di family area. From the looks of it, their intention was similar to the Lu family. It seemed like an intense exchange would definitely break out between the two powerful factions of Daeang province this time. In the meantime, Lin Dong happily observed the two parties while hidden in a secret place. The fiercer the fight between the two, the greater his chances. Two days time passed in a blink of an eye. In this short period of time, several conflicts had already occurred in this area. Naturally, the two culprits were the Di and Lu family. Though it were only small-scale conflicts, they did suffer some casualties as well. At the same time, this caused the atmosphere between them to turn increasingly tense. If it were not for the fact that the Thunder Crystal Beast was about to rank up, both parties would have likely fought already. And in this two days' time, Lin Dong had remained at his original spot. Furthermore, he had intentionally cut back on his cultivation period in order to create as little waves as possible in case the Di or Xie family uncovered his presence. As he quietly waited in hold, that critical moment eventually arrived stealthily. Grumble Lin Dong stared at the layers of storm clouds that suddenly emerged in the sky, as a bewildered expression filled his eyes. He could sense that this storm actually stared from that mountain top. That implies that the Thunder Crystal Beast could actually cause a storm. It was truly a magical beast. It is about to rank up, seated on Lin Dong's shoulders, little Martin stared at the storm clouds surrounding the mountain peak, as it somewhat eagerly commented. Instantly, Lin Dong's eyes turned slightly feverish. As he looked towards the horizons, several presents at that area had immediately exploded as numerous figures leapt on top of the woodlands. As they bided their time, they looked somewhat eagerly at the storm clouds gathering in the sky. Standing in front of both factions, were two figures. One of them was Di Teng, that Lin Dong had already encountered. Meanwhile, the other figure was an elderly man with a white beard. That man was likely the patriarch of the Lu family and based on his aura, he was evidently an initial creation stage elite practitioner. The Di family has an initial creation stage practitioner as well as six perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners. Their lineup is similar to the Lu family. Lin Dong's eyes swept across the woodland before he involuntarily swallowed his tongue. Even if he counted every perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioner in Yan City, they would still lose out to the Di family. It seems like this Yan City's strength is hardly worth mentioning in the context of this entire great Yan dynasty. Boom! As Lin Dong closely observed the movements occurring below him, the storm clouds in the sky began to rumble violently. Large lightning snakes began to course through maniacally, as they brought forth earth-shattering thunder roars. Lin Dong stared somewhat greedily at those lightning snakes. However, this time, he did not dare to blatantly draw these lightning bolts. 
After all, just a short distance away, there was the Di and Lu family. Growl. As the storm clouds began to rumble increasingly violently, suddenly, within that giant mountain, a exceptionally clear roar echoed forth. This echo was quite peculiar as it seemed just like thunder as well as a lion's roar mixed together. Together with the thunderous roars, it began to spread forth. When they heard this roar, everyone's eyes started to gleam, as they tightly gripped onto the weapons in their heads. After that first roar, a series of roars continuously echoed forth. Each time a roar sounded out, the storm clouds in the sky will vibrate even more vigorously. It was as if somewhat was being brewed. As lightning filled the skies, from time to time, giant thunderbolts descended from the sky and landed into the vast woodlands, causing black smoke to emerge. Boom! Another lightning bolt flew down. However, this time, it directly struck that mountain peak. Soon after, the mountain peak began to vibrate as an resplendent silver glow exploded forth from the mountain, just like a glowing light column, before it directly hit the storm clouds in the sky. Lin Dong's eyes twinkled as he stared directly at that light column. Faintly, an enormous demonic beast surfaced in his vision. That enormous beast was gleaming in silver throughout its body, as electrical consciously coursed through its body. As electrical sparks exploded from time to time, it generated a powerful energy shockwave. Moreover, the skin of this enormous giant beast was no ordinary fur coat. Rather, it seemed like a crystal armor. It was truly a peculiar sight. That crystal beast stepped onto that light column. Its four hooves was just like a mountain as they seemed exceedingly sturdy and heavy. With thunderous wings on its back, a resplendent lightning glow shimmered in its mouth. It seemed like every time it opened its mouth, it could easily shoot out an exceedingly powerful lighting beam. Amongst every demonic beast that Lin Dong had encountered before, its appearance and aura was simply most terrifying and powerful. Just based on its appearance alone, everyone knew that this demonic beast was a truly unique one. Thunder Crystal Beast As they stared at that fearsome beast inside that light column, a flurry expression instantly exploded in Diteng and the rest's eyes. After all, this was the first time that they saw such a legendary creature. Is this the so-called legendary Thunder Crystal Beast? It is indeed different from any ordinary demonic beast, Lin Dong was similarly taken aback by that creature's extraordinary appearance, as he deeply sucked in a breath of air and exclaimed in shock. In the past, I've encountered a thunder crystal beast which was countless times more powerful. Ha 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 ha. That is the one that could truly be called formidable. Before it, even a Nirvana stage practitioner was merely a snack, little Martin smacked its lips and chuckled. Lin Dong was speechless. The Nirvana practitioner, which was practically a legend in the Great Yan Empire, became akin to a wild chicken that was to be eaten whenever one pleased when little Martin talked about it. Boom! While Lin Dong was speechless, the violently surging thunder clouds in the sky suddenly shrunk, as an enormous thunderbolt ruthlessly poured down onto the thunder crystal beast's huge body. Is it about to advance in rank? Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong's heart immediately turned nervous. Chapter 207, Forcefully Snatching the Thunder Source Boom! Like an angry dragon, a huge thunderbolt poured down from the thunder clouds, and ferociously bombarded the thunder crystal beast's body. Immediately, a loud and frightening sound rang out in the horizon. Roar! In the face of such a terrifying attack, the thunder crystal beast instantly let loose a painful roar. Lightning frantically rushed around its body, while violently tunneling in. Though this caused immense pain for the beast, it also extremely rapidly strengthened its body. If the thunder crystal beast was able to successfully endure this, its strength would naturally soar. However, if it failed to do so, even though it was a lightning eater, its body would still be torn to pieces by such a powerful thunderbolt. A resplendent glow erupted in the sky lighting up everything in a hundred mile radius. Many demonic beasts trembled at the might of this thunder and only a few of the stronger demonic beasts were able to withstand the fear of thunder, which resonated in their bones. In the woodlands, the Dig and Lu family practitioners nervously stared at the mountaintop. If the thunder crystal beast failed to rank up, 
it would be torn to pieces by the lightning and it was likely that even the thunder source would subsequently crumble to bits. At that time, their trip would have become completely pointless, an outcome that they did not wish to see. Boom boom boom. After the first thunderbolt descended, a series of massive thunderbolts subsequently fell from the skies, before they very accurately struck the thunder crystal beast's massive body, causing a dazzling lightning glow to explode forth. That thunder crystal beast seems to have some difficulty enduring, Lin Dong's eyebrows slightly furrowed as he gazed at the thunder crystal beast, which was constantly roaring in pain as it was being struck by the thunderbolts. Ha, this kind of thunderbolts cannot be compared to the ones you have absorbed. Go ahead and try, I guarantee that you will be unable to withstand even a single one. Little Martin's lips curled as it said. Just wait. Regardless of whether one is human or demonic beast, advancing in cultivation level is no easy matter. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head and suppressed the urgent feeling in his heart. As he watched the thunder crystal beast roar within the thunder, he quietly waited for the final outcome. Thunder echoed across the vast forests, as enormous thunderbolts streaked across the skies from time to time. In the face of nature, every living thing appeared exceptionally tiny. Even the troops from the Di and Lu families maintained their silence during this period, as they were afraid that if they caused too much disturbances, they would draw the thunder from the heavens. At the very front of both parties, stood Di Teng and the Lu family patriarch respectively with their hands behind their backs. Their excited gazes unwaveringly stared at the thunder crystal beast, as it frantically struggled within the thunder. Both of their bodies were slightly leaned forward clearly indicating that they planned to take immediate action once something occurred. Under the attentive gazes of the two parties and that one hidden person, the devastating thunder clouds in the sky finally showed signs of weakening. However, at the same time, the glow of the thunder crystal beast in midair dimmed. Evidently, it had suffered extremely severe injuries. Roar! However, although it was already severely injured, that demonic beast still held a certain majestic aura as it lifted its head and unleashed a thunderous roar at the thunder clouds. Rumble As if it had been stirred up by the roar, the thunder clouds in the sky violently surged. A vortex appeared within the clouds, creating a hole at its center. Within this hole, lightning flickered terrifyingly. Boom! Moments after the hole formed, a thunderbolt that was the size of a man ripped through the skies. Under Lin Dong's, Di Tang's, and the rest's shocked gazes, it poured down and ruthlessly smashed onto the Thunder Crystal Beast's tremendous body. Boom! The thunderbolt directly struck the Thunder Crystal Beast, shooting it down from the sky, as it heavily landed onto the forest's trees which were a thousand meters tall were destroyed by the aftershocks in a flash, and even the land started to tremble. Such a frightening thunderbolt! As he stared at the extensive destruction, Lin Dong could not help but swallow his saliva. This thunderbolt was likely strong enough to turn an advanced Qi creation stage practitioner to dust. I wonder what happened to that thunder crystal beast, this thought flashed across Lin Dong's mind as his eyes hastily shifted towards the place where the thunder crystal beast had landed. Black smoke rose into the air, as a huge hole appeared before his eyes. It couldn't have been smashed to death right. As he stared at the huge hole, Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed. However, just as he mumbled these words, a weak and pained roar once again sounded out, but the roar this time clearly did not contain the force it had before. Under the delighted gazes of the everyone, a silver light slowly rose up from the huge hole, floating in the sky as it looked up and released an unyielding roar at the thunder clouds. In response to the thunder crystal beast's resistance, the thunder clouds finally showed signs of dispersing as layer after layer swiftly retreated. Currently, the body of the thunder crystal beast was extremely dim. Cracks had appeared on the crystal-like armor on its body, but if one took a closer look, one would find that there seemed to be an even brighter layer of crystal armor quietly growing within the cracks. When this crystal armor successfully grew out, the thunder crystal beast's strength would once again swell ferociously. It could be said that the Thunder Crystal Beast's advancement this time had succeeded. The advancement has succeeded. Lin Dong gazed at the Thunder Crystal Beast in the air, as he gently licked his lips. He was able to sense that the latter was now at its weakest, and it was very clear, 
that the Di and Lu families were about to take action. As these thoughts began to surface in Lin Dong's mind, in a distance, Di Teng's gaze suddenly flashed, as a stern shout sounded out in a flash, set up the formation. Yes. The Di family troops were clearly prepared. Hence, when Di Teng's voice sounded out, the numerous troops spread out into a formation. UN power gushed forth, as UN power ropes shot out, swiftly tangling in midair as they swept across the skies. In an instant, they had bounded the thunder crystal beast. Swish. While the Di family made their move, over at the Lu family side, an earth-shattering UN power string also shot out. In a flash, it also securely tied up the thunder crystal beast. Roar. These sudden attacks caused the thunder crystal beast to roar in anger. Its huge silver eyes looked down upon the human culprits, as its body violently struggled. Resplendent lightning burst out from its body and directly snapped these bindings. Clang! The instant the thunder crystal beast struggled free of most of the bindings, a figure suddenly swept forth from the sky. A large knife with a long handle covered in extremely powerful UN power ferociously chopped onto its body. The strong force caused more cracks to form on the crystal armor covering its body. Roar! After suffering this powerful attack, red flitted across the thunder crystal beast's eyes, as it opened its mouth and shot a thunderbolt towards the figure. TCH Upon seeing the thunderbolt rush forth, the large knife with a long handle coated in powerful UN power once again hacked downwards, and withstood the attack. Wrapped in UN power, it fiercely attacked again. Hehe, <laughs> my old pal Di Teng, since you look to be in such difficulty by yourself, let this old man lend you a hand. Just as the light from the formidable attack covered the thunder crystal beast, laughter once again sounded across the skies. Soon after, another blade ruthlessly attacked. Like a tidal wave, a continuous stream of attacks were directed towards the thunder crystal beast. However, while he attacked it, some blade shadows were also stealthily directed towards Di Teng. Humph, Lu Kui you old ghost, are you finally unable to resist? Di Teng sneered. His fingers flicked, breaking apart the blade flashes that stealthily swept towards him, as a murderous light flitted across his eyes. Haha, my Lu family is naturally interested in a treasure like the Thunder Source. How can we miss this once in a blue moon chance? Did you think that only your Di family is able to obtain this information? The name of the white-bearded elderly man turned out to be Lu Kui. Though the two of them continuously mocked each other, the blades in their hands were ruthless attacking the thunder crystal beast until it was battered and exhausted. If it was originally at its full power, it would not be difficult to for the thunder crystal beast to kill the Di Teng duo. However, the situation now was different. The Thunder Crystal Beast had already spent most of its power to withstand the Thunderbolts. In its current state, it was unable to resist the two form creation stage practitioners. Roar Roar A thunderous and angry roar constantly rang out across the skies, as more and more cracks formed on its body. On a distant mountain peak, Lin Dong attentively observed the situation. The ancient heavenly scales halberd had already once again appeared in his hands. Great Sun Thunder Yuan slowly surged in his body, ready to unleash its formidable power at any time. In the air, two figures seemed to be surrounded in a whirlwind of blades as they mercilessly clashed against the Thunder Crystal Beast, while powerful Yuan power waves erupted. This beast is truly difficult to deal with. While being tangled in the fight, the Di Tang duo were extremely shocked. They did not expect that they would be unable to swiftly dispatch this extremely weak thunder crystal beast, even with their combined efforts. They truly did not dare to imagine how terrifying the beast would be if allowed to recover its strength. Let's finish this quickly. Although they found each other an eyesore, both individuals had the same idea in mind at this time. A fierce look flitted across their eyes, as two blades, filled with ferocious UN power, swiftly hacked at one of the cracks on the thunder crystal beast's body. Immediately, the armor broke apart, as silver blood flowed out from the crack. Roar! After suffering such a heavy blow, the thunder crystal beast's eyes turned completely red. It madly roared out, 
and opened its huge mouth as a resplendent head-sized ball of lightning swept forth from within. In the distance, Lin Dong's pupils abruptly shrunk when the resplendent ball of lightning appeared. He could sense an extremely powerful and pure lightning power from it. Thunder Source Upon hearing little Martin's cry, Lin Dong lifted the ancient heavenly scales halberd, as a feverish look flickered in his eyes. Chapter 208 Battling Against the Form Creation Stage Thunder Source As the resplendent lightning ball emerged from the thunder crystal beast's mouth, a greedy expression suddenly appeared in Di Teng's and Lu Kui's eyes. Yuan power gushed forth, directly transforming into two three meters wide Yuan power palms which immediately grabbed at the thunder source. Boom! Even though the thunder crystal beast was a demonic beast, it was not a complete fool. Hence, it naturally would not summon its thunder source only to give it away. Hence, when they two of them tried to snatch it over, that thunder source suddenly vibrated vigorously. Immediately, a disc-like lightning shockwave emerged from the epicenter. Bang bang! Due to that lightning shockwave, Di Teng and Lu Kui's UN power palm was instantly disseminated. Meanwhile, both of their facial expressions began to change rapidly. However, before they could retreat, that shockwave had already hit them. Buzz buzz! When they were hit by that vicious blow, both of their faces turned pale, before they were blown away as they spat out a mouthful of blood. Buzz! Though they were viciously blown away, that Di Teng duo were cunning individuals. While they were being blown back, two UN power palm exploded forth. However this time, they directly slammed onto that thunder crystal beast's body. Boom! A giant sound echoed out, as a huge port of the crystal armor on the thunder crystal beast was shattered into pieces before silver blood gushed forth slash. That originally chaotic midair began empty in an instant. Only that lightning mist was still hovering in midair as it released an exceptionally radiant glow and a mighty lightning power. Snatch the thunder source! Di family and Lu family's troops were all intensely watching the battle happening in midair. When they saw this sight, shouts instantly exploded forth, as elite practitioners from both sides instantly made their move. Jerking their hands forwards, a series of UN power ropes were directed towards that thunder source. Buzz! However, just as those UN power ropes bounded that thunder source, suddenly a formidable halberd shadow appeared. With a swing, it immediately shattered the ropes. Then, as he stretched his hand forth, under the enraged stares from the crowd, he grabbed onto that thunder source. Do you court death? This sudden change caused everyone to be taken aback. Immediately, an enraged roar sounded out. Ha ha, de ten brother, I will take the thunder source first. Please hold back the Lu family troops. I will be waiting for you at the usual spot. That man who suddenly intervened, was naturally Lin Dong, who had been hiding in the shadows. Now that he had obtained that thunder source, delight filled his heart, causing him to laugh heartily as he swiftly retreated. Lin Dong's laughter came suddenly, however it caused the formation in the field to freeze up. Those Di family troops were all perplexed as they evidently did not know when Di Teng had made a deal with him. Di Teng, you actually found an accomplice. That Lu Kui's facial expression changed drastically. With a loud roar, using the giant saber in his hand, a formidable blade shadow was viciously directed towards Di Teng, who was standing nearby. Clang! As he faced Lu Kui's sudden attack, that Di Teng hurriedly countered. Then, with a steely expression, he shouted, Old man, use your brain. That kid is obviously tricking us as he fled once he got the thunder source. Let's stop him. At first, Di Teng's brain was some short-circuit for a while. Thankfully, his reflexes were quick, as he swiftly deduced that Lin Dong's comment was obviously meant to stall them. When he heard these words, Lu Kui was shocked. Swiftly turning around, he realized that Lin Dong had already quickly fled after he grabbed that thunder source. Instantly, he realized that he had been tricked as he angrily swore, that cunning bastard. Grab that kid! Lu Kui and Di Teng's enraged roar almost simultaneously sounded out. Then, Di Teng's troops finally understood that they had been tricked, and they were all instantly furious. 
However, just as they recovered their senses, Lin Dong had already created some distance between them. Just as he planned to scoot off, the thunder source in his hand suddenly began to vibrate violently, as it seemed about to escape. Snort. When he detected this sight, Lin Dong's eyes turned cold. As he jerked the ancient halberd in his hand, a formidable halberd shadow exploded forth and viciously struck that thunder crystal beast, that was attempting to recall its thunder source. Bang! When that halberd shadow exploded on that thunder crystal beast's body, it directly blew the latter back. Then, the thunder crystal beast finally released a series of disgruntled roars, as its blood-red animal eyes started hideously at Lin Dong before it fled away. Right now, it understood that it was impossible to snatch back its thunder source today. After blowing away that thunder crystal beast in one move, Lin Dong finally heaved a sigh of relief. Just as he planned to escape, in midair, a UN power palm suddenly materialized before it viciously attacked him. Buzz! Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed. With he waved his ancient halberd, it formed several cold flashes before they directly shattered that UN power palm. Kid, I have been kind to you. However, you still dare to plot against my Di family. Today, if I do not rip you to shred, I cannot appease the anger in my heart. When Lin Dong shattered that UN power palm, a malicious roar echoed from behind. Then, Di Teng's figure swiftly head over with a malicious glint in his eyes. Ha, this kid is truly cunning. We nearly let him escape. Behind Lin Dong, that Lu Kuei swiftly hurried over as he chuckled. When he saw that he could not easily escape, Lin Dong's eyebrows furrowed. With a calm expression, he kept the thunder source in his kinkin bag, before he said with a smile, Why do the two of you act in this manner? Fate determines who this treasure belongs to. You should not go against fate. After we kill you, we will be the fated ones. A malicious expression filled Di Teng's eyes and it was different from the serene expression before. Evidently, he no longer suppressed his killing intent towards Lin Dong. Old ghost Lu Kuei, let's join forces and kill this tricky bastard. After that, we will decide who gets the thunder source. How about it? Di Teng shouted out. When he heard his words, Lu Kuei's eyes glimmered before he gradually nodded his head, All right, this kid is too cunning. If we don't finish him off, my old heart cannot be calm. Swoosh. Before the two of them finished conversing, the blade shadow below Lin Dong's feet flashed as his figure swiftly descended and escaped. You want to escape? Di Tang Duo were both old cunning men. Previously after they were tricked by Lin Dong, they were naturally cautious of him. Hence, once the latter moved, the two of them immediately chased after him like leeches. Ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd Techniques, Fish Scales Halberd Ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd Techniques, Python Scales Halberd However, just as the two of them swiftly followed behind, Lin Dong's frantic body suddenly stopped. As he swung the ancient halberd in his hand, a giant hideous UN Power Fish and an enraged UN Power Python, together with a malicious halberd glint, was viciously directed towards the two of them. Heavy Mountain Saber Technique Bone Crushing Blade When they encountered Lin Dong's sudden vicious attack, even Di Tang Duo's facial expression changed slightly. As UN power gushed forth, they immediately swung the large sabers in their hands. Bang Bang Blade and Halberd collided, as a exceedingly powerful force wind immediately erupted forth, causing the surrounding air to be directly blown away and almost creating a vacuum. The combined forces of two initial creation stage practitioner. Their combined might was truly incredible. Lin Dong's halberd techniques did not survive for a long time, before they were immediately destroyed. Then, blade shadows were directed towards his body as they formed a formidable attacking formation and trapped him. Based on their expression, it seems like the Di Tang duo were truly planning to utilize every means to completely trap Lin Dong. As he sensed the icy cold killing intent gushing out from their blades, Lin Dong's eyes slightly darkened. Waving his halberd around, and thanks to his body, which had been enhanced during this period, he was barely able to counter their combined attack. As Lin Dong fought back, that Di Teng and Lu Kuei's heart was in turmoil. 
both of them were at initial creation stage. Hence, if they combined forces, they could swiftly dispatch a creation stage elite practitioner. However, right now, Lin Dong was able to hold them back based on his own strength. His current ability, and furthermore his tender age, caused even the Ditang duo to be shocked. Immediately, a malicious killing intent swiftly followed. They could not allow such a highly talented foe to live. As a killing intent gushed forth, two whistles swiftly followed from Ditang and Lu Kuei's lips. Instantly, the two families' troops, who were standing nearby, rushed forth. Based on this situation, evidently they did not want to give Lin Dong any opportunity to escape. Snort. Lin Dong also realized their plans. Immediately, with a cold snort, Great Sun Thunder Yuan was manically activated as faint thunder roars echoed out. At the same time, the skin on his body began to turn bronze-like green, while on his arm, a vein crawled forth just like a dragon. It was filled with a formidable aura. Ancient Heavenly Scales Halberd Technique, Dragon Scales Halberd A resplendent golden glow, just like a volcano, gushed froth from Lin Dong's ancient halberd, as that formidable UN power directly turned into a giant dragon and swept forth with an unstoppable aura. Boom boom boom! When he unleashed that attack, the UN power surrounding heaven and earth began to vibrate violently. Right now, this all-out dragon scales halberd that Lin Dong executed was several times more powerful, compared to the one when he fought against City Lord Shi. Hence, when that dragon appeared, a look of awe surfaced even in Ditang Duo's eyes. With all of Lin Dong's energy, that dragon attack flashed across the horizons before it viciously slammed against Ditang Duo. Instantly, a giant earth-shattering sound echoed out from mid-air, before a powerful force wind erupted forth and even caused vibrations in the woodlands below. Bang bang! A golden light poured forth, as the Ditang Duo, were directly blown away under the bewildered gazes of their troops, before they landed hideously. Based on their facial expressions, it seems like they both took a severe hit. That kid possesses truly terrifying might. On his own, he was able to counter against two initial form creation stage practitioners. This sight caused the Ditang and Lu family's troops to be stunned. Ha 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 ha, thanks for your gift. I shall gladly accept this thunder source. After he utilized all his strength to blow them back, the bronze color on Lin Dong's skin swiftly dissipated. Promptly, he took the opportunity to escape. Using his full speed, in a blink of an eye, he dashed inside the vast woodlands. Search everywhere! When they saw Lin Dong escape, that Ditang and Lu Kuei's face turned steely green. Then, an enraged roar immediately echoed out inside this woodlands.